But how today has been not good. Not good at all. Good evening, internet friends. How are we doing today? Are we sassy, girl? Oh, sassy. Sassy. Sassy, 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 sassy. Da na 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 na. Hey, baby. So, yes, if you can't already tell, I'm using my old camera. Um, I like the portability of the new camera, but I don't like how, like, it won't do widescreen. I really have tried. And it just won't do it, so I'm thinking about trying to find another portable camera. So for now, back to this one. Yay! Um, so sorry if you guys were annoyed with the quality of the other camera, but don't worry, I will eventually work on that. Um, but how today has been not good. Not good at all. Um, last night I had some really bad insomnia. I could not get to sleep. My mind was just... It wouldn't shut up. <laughs> I tried everything to get to sleep. I even tried to knit, and then I learned that I didn't remember how to knit. So now I've remembered how to knit because I looked it up and I'm like, oh hey, guess what? Um, what finally got me to go to sleep, and it was still difficult for me to do, was the Honest Guy's Guided Sleep Meditation. Which, I would definitely recommend that you guys try that. It's awesome. Um, I'm going to put you guys down on the chest. Hi. Back to contemplation with Captain America. Oh, dear Lord. Okay, now stick out my foot. By the way, my tattoo is doing good. It's starting to itch right now, which is a good sign. Um, hi, Sassy. You'll get her. She's so excited, aren't you, baby girl? She's like, Mom's on the floor with me. But yeah, if your tattoo starts itching, it's a sign. It's a good sign. It means it's healing, and it means that skin is about to peel. Yay! Um. So I'm pretty sure within the next day or two, it'll start peeling. The only thing that sucks is the itching is so intense. Um. You kind of learn how you can properly scratch it. Because you can't, like, scratch it. You can either gently hit it. Or, if you're wearing fabric, rub your fingertips. And fingertips are what I often do with my tattoos. Especially the one on my thigh. I had to do it that way. I had to slap this one. Because, of course, this wasn't covered by fabric. So, there you go. Um, but, then I woke up. I was feeling extremely tired. And, of course, um, depression decided to be like, hey, I'm going to stop on by today, which, for those of you who don't know, I also suffer with major depressive disorder, <clears throat> back it up, as well as generalized anxiety and panic disorder. My major depressive disorder doesn't, like, come up as often, um, but... I guess due to a lot that's been going on, the toxic headspace that I've still been in about not being able to control much of my life. It was just like, hey, I'm going to pop on by. And I'm just like, no, go away. And it's like, never. So I woke up with a horrible mindset, not feeling good. And I was just like, you know what? I'm going to stay home. I'm going to have a mental health day. It's going to be good. Well, then my mom needed me to work for her. Um, because three of her people were out. She gave me the option, but... It's one of those where you can't really tell her no. And she's like, oh, you need the money. You need the money. And I was just like, fine. Because she's also been getting on to me a lot about money lately. I won't go into detail on that, but that's part of it. Um, of course, I get there. I feel like crap. The depression has just sucked every bit of energy I have. What little bit I even had in the first place. And... It made it to where I didn't want to talk to people. There were some people that I knew very well, and I just did not want to talk with anybody. I did not want to interact with anybody. Like, I was not acting like myself. A lot of people would probably tell you that. Um, 
and I kept asking my mom can I like I told her I'm not feeling good I'm just want to go home I don't feel well because I can't just tell her hey my depression's acting up can I please leave because she wouldn't understand um, getting her to understand my mental illness has kind of been a long process anyway um, and she was just like you need the money just keep to going you need the money and it just brought my mind into an even worse head like headspace yes that's the word I've been using is headspace exciting it made me feel like she cared more about income for me than my own health because I mean I'm like her like I will work myself to the ground but the problem is for so long now I've been working myself to the ground and then expected to just keep on going and kind of dig a hole through China um and that's how I felt today like I was already shoved into the ground and expected to work even harder I was already depressed already tired I just couldn't do it <laughs> sorry that was sassy making weird hacking noises because she's old so she makes weird hacking noises um I finally got to leave after two because I was just like I can't do this anymore I asked the lead counselor hey do you need me for anything she said no so I got to leave which was great um, got home I took a cold shower because I was really hot cleaned off my tattoo because I had to wear shorts today so my tattoo was covered with a long sock and had not had a chance to really breathe so I wanted to make sure it got as much air as possible yes fun fact tattoos need to breathe like your skin needs to breathe most of the time I mean the tattoo is basically your skin but covered in ink but it's essential for tattoos to be able to breathe. Because remember, it's an open wound on your skin. And wounds need to be able to breathe to heal. So, there you go. You can't see it. <laughs> Can I be like all bendy? There it is. It's right there. <laughs> I haven't done yoga in a while. Can you tell? Um, and then I also felt the need to shave my legs. Because my legs had not been shaved. And I was like, you know what? Let's just go ahead and do it. Of course, I didn't shave where my tattoo is. Absolutely not. So there's just like a patch of hairs around my tattoo and then everything else is clean. Um, and then I just collapsed and took a nap. Like I was just like, I'm not dealing with the rest of the day. Oh, I found a scab on my foot. That's exciting. Unless he woke up and just laid in bed. I felt like crap still. Um, I wasn't as tired, but more like I was feeling really hot because it's freaking hot where I live. I live in Georgia and it's been like 80 to 90 something degrees daily. Um, and usually we keep our house around 69 to 70 degrees. It had risen to 73, which for some people that'd be like, oh, that's not a big deal. Oh, it is. Are you okay, Sassy? I know she sounds horrible, but this is just something that she does. Um, but the problem is, with it being three degrees higher inside, I live on the second floor of our house. Heat rises, so I'm burning up. I got the fan going right now and the air conditioner. The fan was up higher, but right now I've got it turned down because it was too cold. Um, but yeah, and then my parents went to church. My brother made us spaghetti and meatballs for dinner, which was delicious. Um... And then got the vlog worked on. I was trying to convince myself, hey, you need to record today's vlog. Like, you need to talk with them. And at first my brain was like, no, I don't really want to. It was one of those did not have the energy, like feeling like I didn't have the energy to pick up my camera. But I'm like, you know, Raven, you need to. Like, even though this is a lot of like depression and kind of personal stuff, like I know I don't want this to sound like self-centered, but I know this from you guys that me sharing my experiences with my mental illnesses has helped you. And I was, and my brain's like, Raven, you know that sharing your story about how depression's been affecting you will help somebody. Just like it does with your anxiety. I don't talk about my depression as much because it doesn't affect me as much. For the past few days, it has been. So, and I hear doggies out in the hallway, but I'll get to them in just a second. Um, so, of course, got the vlog done. I found a video called 60 Songs That Saved My Life 
from Nicole Vanna. If you have not seen Nicole Vanna, you need to check her out. She's awesome. And I tend to, I love music playlists. I really do. I will like go through them and write down every song that I don't have in my phone. And then I will go through YouTube and find and like listen to each song and be like, oh, do I like this one? Do I not? And then I'll get the songs. So I'm doing that now. Vlog's already up and I was like, you know what? While you're just doing something kind of mindless, talk about what's been going on. So now I'm on the floor with you guys and Captain America and I don't know which side I'm standing on and I'm using my other camera because I'm not liking the quality of the portable camera anymore. So, but on the upside, I did get a better SD card. Turns out the one I have now, this camera had an, had like an eight gigabyte SD card, I think. And yes, I know I'm talking gigabytes and all that. I don't know what the crap that means either. So you're fine. And the one that I got for the portable was a 32. So I was just like switching. So portable camera will be going back to McKay's and hey, it'll have, well, no, I should probably keep the other SD keep the SD card that's inside of it so I can switch it to a new camera. Ugh, I'll, I'll get it figured out. Um, maybe even case would let me actually look at the cameras. Uh, we'll see. So, yeah, that's what's been going on this evening and what's been going on with today. My brain is slowly coming back down, well, going back up, per se, from, like, the really depressed stain is going back up to a more normal kind of state because I mean I wouldn't say I'm like super happy like hurry no um I know I seem that way a lot in vlogs and I seem like I'm always happy and chipperty skipperty I mean I'm a more outgoing person but this is the real life those of you with mental illness or chronic illness or you know you guys get me that this is real life real life is not always happiness and joy and bubbles and unicorns and all that Sometimes life is filled with crap, and that's just how it is. So now I'm going to let the dogs in before they tear down my door, and I'm going to finish working on the music playlist thing, and I'll check back in with you guys later. Hey, guys. There be my boys. Ah, ah, ah. No. Do not make a nest with my blanket. Do not make a nest. No. No. You know why? Because then I'm going to have to lift all 75 pounds of you off of my blanket. I already have to move a 64 pound puppy. Who still hasn't grown into these paws. Holy crap. Which fun fact, I don't know if the tattoo artist actually did this, but... Um, I actually measured out MRL's paw for the size of my tattoo. More than likely it's not exactly the size. So apparently, Caitlin's friend decided to talk to the nephew of the tattoo artist because the tattoo artist who did my tattoo was actually very rude to me. And um, the artist has said that he's willing to clean up my tattoo for me once it is healed because there's some mistakes that I see in it now as it's healing. But I mean, it's only in day two and it'll take up to two weeks for it to completely heal. So we'll see what happens then. But I am feeling better. That's good. And I'm also tired, which is also good. Because I might have taken some Benadryl to make me sleep. Yay! And now the boys are wanting to get some energy out before they go to bed. So now, before these guys just, like, break out into a fight or something, I'm going to sign off for the night and head off to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. The question of the day is, how did you feel today? Did you have a good day? Did your mental illness decide to be like, screw you? Or how are you today? Put your answers down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Good night, boys. MRL, uh-uh, you can't do that. No, you cannot do that. You can only have one or the other. That's it. And good night, sassy girl. At least you know how to behave and share.